3rd of January 2022. It's the last video I'll make this morning. We just want to get a few done. I'm using a smartphone because I'm um, just looking at what I do about a camera. But it's grand for now anyway. Real for education, not fake news. This video is not for everyone. One of the things about my channel, it deals with specialist subjects. Mightn't be for everyone, but it could be one that you might want to tell somebody about or that whether it's in any branch of the public service in particular, and some big organisations. I don't know about Gypsum Industries, but big ones like CRH and uh, Diageo, some of those big organisations like that that are private would also have this feature. But uh, the public service is notorious for this. So it's 41, and it's called uh, Placing in an Organisation. Placing. And this is most, mostly advi adv advice for people starting off in a career. So me bios, me, me, me markers are running out. So a pattern of promotion here, pattern of promotion and some sectors favourite. So one of the things you'll notice in an organisation is that certain sections of it or certain um, uh, departments of maybe defence, maybe departments of the health board, uh, sections of the health board, the HSE or the Garda Shikana is another very good example. Some certain divisions are, are, are favoured. They get more promotions than the others. And so it's whether public or private. Now, I think the Gardaí have 20, 43 divisions, roughly. There's a good few in Dublin. There's, um, there's, uh, I think it's 43. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't really matter around that number. And uh, there's uh, two in Cork, I think, and, and that's all. So I think that's around it. Don't, don't quote me on it. Now, the point about it is the promotions are not even. Some divisions uh, get more promotions to sergeant and particularly to inspector which is the hard rank to get through to and superintendent chief superintendent than others and this is a pattern it's very unfair uh, uh, but it's a pattern and how does the young person starting off deal with this now if you if you look at this my own area where i live in kingscourt uh, you have cabin monon division cabin monon is one guard the division uh, altogether and traditionally there was five districts there was carrick macross Monaghan, Ballyconnell, Bailaborough and Cabin and there was a detective de branch division which had a detective superintendent so if you look at the rank of superintendent you had a superintendent of each of those six uh, districts and one detective superintendent now Ballyconnell is gone it's in with Cabin so it's now less it's now uh, four districts and a detective a superintendent which would be which would be which would be five rather than uh, six so it's the same, same principle applied. But traditionally anyway, uh, traditionally anyway, Ballyconnell never got one of its own staff promoted. You couldn't get promoted to inspector if you were a sergeant in Ballyconnell. Cavan for years has not had, it has had one man from the division who was reared and, and, and who was came there and worked there. It had a few traditionally. It usually they give some. They give the town of Cavan to a, per, a, a, a an officer who was traditionally from that division. That's ended now. I don't think that's that's not the case. All the superintendents for the last while have been outside, particularly the present one. It was brought up in the Morris McCabe Tribunal. This thing about Bailabur. It never appointed its own sergeant. I know of no guard that ever came to the Bailabur district, a busy West East Cavan division um, district. This is an area comprising Cotillion, Kingscourt, uh, Virginia, Bailabra, uh, part of uh, Lavi and that up there. So it's East Cavan. I know of no guard that ever came there and managed to get up to be a superintendent. Managed to get up that far. I remember there was one there from Longford for, for years. And uh, mostly Dublin. And that's because it's kept as a gateway for Dublin. And when Ballyconnell had a superintendent, they always kept that superintendent's post for their cronies in Dublin and they kept them for their cronies in in uh, Bailaborough and they usually gave the detective superintendent in Monaghan to a person from Dublin so they were promoting all these people they knew and they needed places to put them until they got moving back to Dublin and in the two reports the Morris report and the report into the Morris McCabe thing in Cavan the judge pointed out that that the people on the ground had a harder job to get promoted and they were forced to make up arms caches were forced to plant uh, fake gun guns and ammunition and explosives in order to try and get over the natural blockage that was there because i'd say in donegal you might get there's a lot of supers there you might get one or two that were native produced whereas in cabin on you might get two nod to him you might get three he'd retire a chubby and a fellow from cork he'd retire another put in a woman from dublin 
and the point was made these people had no interest they were only there for a couple of years they wanted to get back and the, if there was problems they wouldn't tackle them okay now they eventually uh, about 25 years ago they appointed regional commanders assistant commissioners and they were about as useful as the teats on my bull that's about how good they were they haven't solved any of this they were supposed to stop look after all these things and not have inquiries but they didn't do it but i think the present commissioner drew harris i don't see any of this developing i have no doubt there's still bullying there's still all this going on and i don't see any of this but i can guarantee you this is not fixed this is not fixed this is going on and we'll go on after him another thing they used to do in a lot of organizations and they do that everywhere is put in two bosses <laughs> to, say, to be a superintendent let's say in 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 cabin and he'd have a charge of the budget but to be a detective super in charge in, in monon and he'd be in charge of serious crime and he'd be telling the people in monon or in ballycon to do something but he couldn't pay them was the fellow in Ballyconnell. And they'd often be at others' throats. They'd be going up for promotion. And the fellow that was on the ground, the local superintendent, wouldn't give the overtime for the fellow in Monaghan. And the unfortunate guard was forced to either work for nothing, a lot of the time, or refuse to do it. And a terrible situation. And nobody that'd be a chief superintendent, he would turn a blind eye. So so the point about it is, anyway, and, yeah, they'd put in two bosses. This, this is in, in a lot of private and public organisations. They put, but more so in the public sector, they put in in the hospital, they'll put in the top man and they'll put in another fella or they'll put in two of equal rank. And the nurse is, ex is, is expected to know which one she's supposed to follow and obey. And no matter what she does, she's not getting it right. This is very, very common. So, anyway, um, so that's, that's the thing. Uh, <laughs> the local superintendent would be in charge of money. The local detective superintendent would be in charge of operations and the, the poor old sergeant on the ground would have to decide who he'd, he, he'd work for. This is this is the way they do it. Oh, they're an insidious crowd. So if, if you look at, at, at Calvin Monaghan, it used to be that only two superintendents out of the six were native produced. So that meant that, that five, four were from outside. So if some fella, there was a, a sergeant, let's say, in, 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 in Kutil, he was looking for promotion. There was a sergeant in Drum, Drimna in Dublin, he was looking for promotion. Then it's the same with an inspector and the same with a superintendent. They got promoted. But they were favoured in the promotion stakes and they had to have a place to put them and so they arrived into Bailabra or Quetil or whatever and the local man just had to suck his thumb. This was identified officially in the two in the two inquiries that took place. Okay. Now I hope I've made that clear for young members of any organization, whatever that organization is. Some departments promote too much and some promote too few, and this pattern never changes. I don't think, I don't know at the present, I'm not familiar about the local superintendent. My father always said to, there was never a superintendent promoted from Bailover. And I never remember one that actually went and did duty there in, the, in that area. And, and, and that meant that there was no local knowledge or nothing there. And even if they got promoted in Bailover and was sent to Mona, and that'd be all right, they'd still be in their own area. But no, those posts were kept for outsiders and in some big organizations even private organizations the cronies round who are drinking tea with the bosses get promoted and they shove them down to your department you might be in the in the bagging department down there and you're looking for a wee bit of promotion maybe to become a foreman and no they shove this fella in from there and the way you have to do it that that was identified just to show you the flip figure identified in Donegal and Cavan and in Cavan with Bailover district that was identified that this was happening that they discriminate against the local person the official Gardaí in this case the Gardaí deliberately discriminate because the, what they see is what they do it used to be said the guards would tell you that the whole division of Cavan Monaghan stopped outside Century Homes that's all the local chief knew he looked out the window that's all he saw and if he came in from outside he was relying on the locals to tell him what to do and they influenced him and the person who was down in Ballyconnell couldn't get his ear that's the same in all of these organizations could be the same up in Tara Mines for all we know could be the same in any of these but particularly the health service big time big time the police big time the Gardaí and it could be the same in, in, in other divisions as well allowed me to used to get more than it's enough so any young sergeant there going on he could get promoted up to chief in Loudmead, they horsed him down then to, to, um, to uh, uh, Donegal for a while and the local man had to live out his time and he couldn't get his, he might be a great person, he might be an absolute class act, he couldn't get promoted. Dublin headquarters, they all get promoted. Officers' sons, 
the sons of chiefs and the sons and daughters of its supers. They'll get on. An awful lot of the present senior ranks in the Gardaí are the sons and daughters of chief superintendents, commissioners, superintendents, inspectors. And then they tell you there's no influence. Do not believe that nonsense. You see, they, they write them up and they get they ring up their friend down in Cork and he rings up there and their own people. And this is a bias that's there in the guards. Uh, Cork City it goes very well. It gets more. Limerick does well and Galway does well. Now, you could argue these as busy places. But how do you know if somebody happens to go, <coughs> excuse me, is sent to a fairly quiet place that he isn't a great person if he, if he got going or she a great person if she got going? Folks, the point is, if you're a young, par young, young person in any of these, look where you arrive. First of all, try if you have a say where you go for a start, make sure it's good for promotion. Now, only if you're good for promotion, if you're into promotion. If you are not interested in promotion and just want to stay at the lower ranks and rear your family and you like the area, do that. Do not get me wrong. I am not saying you should crave promotion. It's not everything. There are a lot of very happy people in, 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 in the services, in the Gardaí and the HSE, who just do their day's work and they're happy with that. But if you think you'd like a bit of promotion and to get on and you get a better pension and all, and have a bit more um, autonomy in your job, then you need to look at your division. Look at it. If you come to Roscommon, Galway East, or whatever the name of that division is, have a look at it. Has it been promoting a high number of local officers, or has it not? Has it a high number of... You go back, ask some older member or some person that knows, go back 30 years, see what was the proportion. If there's five superintendents, if there's five chief executives or whatever they are, see, have there been a bias against that, oh, that, that area, that department or whatever it is, or that hospital? Has that hospital have a lot of super, superior people who are shoved in from Galway at the expense of the locals? If you see that happening, go back about 30 years, that pattern never changes. Cavan Monaghan will never give fair play to its Gardaí who serve us here in this division. They'll always be only two out of the five posts filled from within. And the thing you do in that case is you put in a year or two and you slip in your application for a transfer and you get to hell out of there. The cure for this is a good pair of boots. Get walking out of there. Do not hang around. You're only wasting your effort. You'll be doing your best. You'll be studying law or you'll be working as a, as the doctor or whatever it is. You'll be working as middle management and you'll never get up. It's weighted against you. You've got to realise that you have to be, for to get on, you have to be in the places that are recognised and that have tradition of this. I don't accept that the Gardaí in, 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 in Pier Street in Dublin or Stour Street are any better qualified, are any better at the job. I don't think they are. They didn't solve any of the problems they encountered when they went down the country. They didn't solve the one in the in Bailabra. They didn't solve the one in Donegal. And they didn't solve anything in the Kerry Babies or any of these things either. Okay, so we're not going just too far into that. So decide, do you want to get a bit of promotion? Do you think you're up to it? Do you think you'd like to study and all that? The land you to a division could be Roscommon, could be Sligo Leitrim, which isn't too bad of a one, funny enough. You look there in Sligo Leitrim, what's the story? Do you like the place? Right, I'm going to stay. What's the story? Where's the chief? Go back six or seven chiefs. Where were they where they originally come from? Look at all the supers. Are they all from Dublin? Are they all from Galway? Or is there a fair amount of locally produced supers in it? If there's a fair amount of locally produced supers in it, then you, you'll be in with a chance. You have equal chance. But if it's not, and that was the way in Donegal, I think there was only maybe 20% local. Don't waste your time. Get your application in. Move out of there. There'll be fellows who want to run farms up there and pubs and whatever, and not around around pubs or whatever, but they'll have interest up there. That's the price you pay. If you go to Donegal and you want to be in an area that suits you, the price you pay is that you can't get promoted. That's it. You have to forget about it. Whereas if you go up to, to the head, headquarters in the Phoenix Park, the, the, you, you, you mightn't have all those great things, but you will get promoted when the time comes because they see you. They see you going about and all you have to do is keep your nose clean. Do you understand that now? I hope I've made that clear. This is an observation. This is not an opinion. This is an observation from talking to people in these services and in these industries. People are in it. They'll tell you that in the bigger industries. Well, it's even the, the fire service. It's there. And uh, it would be in big companies. I can't name 
name names and big in, in you'll find in in Intel down in Le Port Le in um, Leak Slipper down there they probably have to apply, uh, employ the best the public services is the worst and I've said in an earlier video how they how they, they conspire to put the most inefficient people in in there folks that's all I think I've explained that as best I can give me a thumbs up and tell anyone about this if they're in any public service or any private sector or a thumbs down if you don't like it and we'll see you back on this the 3rd of january 2022 thank you very much